All right, so let's call this video the introduction to the density altitude chart. Now I'm going to make up a couple of examples so you understand, and then after this we'll go into an actual question that will use the information I'm about to give you. First of all, when you look at this very busy density altitude chart, I break it up into two sections because they really are like a Swiss Army knife with two different tools on it. One tool is the density altitude graph. The other tool is the pressure altitude conversion table. Now what those mean are unimportant right now. Just know that when you look at this chart, you're not always using this table to the right. And when you're using the table to the right, you're not always using that chart, not at the same time anyway. So just see them as two different tools. Okay. Now let's focus on the graph portion of the density altitude chart. And let's zip in a little bit. Okay. There are three bits of information on here, all connected somehow graphically. The first one is the outside air temperature. And that could be in Fahrenheit or it can be in Celsius. But the bottom line is it's the air temperature. Every question that asks you to look for density altitude is going to give you an outside air temperature. Another bit of information in here is called pressure altitude in feet. All right, now what that is right now doesn't matter. But the pressure altitude in feet on this graph is represented by these diagonal lines. I mean, when have you ever seen these? I don't even remember seeing this in high school diagonal lines across a graph, but there they are, okay? And it's really pretty simple once you know how to use them. So pressure altitude is represented by these diagonal lines, so that would be what? 6,000 feet pressure altitude, that would be this line here would be 9,000 feet pressure altitude, this line here would be 2,000 feet pressure altitude, and so on. The final bit of information is the answer that we're looking for, is the density altitude. What every question will give us, or make us find until we get, is the temperature and the pressure altitude. Once we have those two, we can look across to the left side of the chart and get the answer, which is the density altitude. Now the density altitude, even though it's written as one, two, three, four whole numbers going up, it really is expressing the number in thousands of feet which means this doesn't really represent six feet of density altitude, it represents 6,000 feet. So you want to just add on three zeros to whatever number we're looking at. So if this is eight, is it eight feet density altitude? No, it's 8,000 feet density altitude. Is it 12 feet density altitude? No, it's 12,000 feet density altitude. So just remember that, that these numbers really are in the thousands. I guess it's just easier to write it in whole numbers instead of having three zeros at the end of every one. Okay, so let me just make up something. We're going to make up, um, uh, we're looking up a particular density altitude. Let's pretend that we're dealing um, with uh, a question that tells us the pressure altitude is 4,000. Okay, and the outside air temperature is 40 degrees. So what you do is you look for the 40 degrees Fahrenheit at the bottom of the chart, and then you track up that line till you hit the diagonal line that's represented by the 4,000. So that hits right about there. Now I don't know about you, but these lines and, and boxes are very, very tiny. So I use a magnifier so that I can see where they're intersecting. So from the solid line down here, whatever that is, I can see it's about one box, about two boxes. It's two lines up from the thick line down here. So when I track over to the left, the thick line is at not three, not four, but in between. So that's actually not 3,000 feet, that's not 4,000 feet, it's actually 3,500 feet. But it's not right on that dark line. It actually looks like it's two boxes above it. So it's 35, 36, 37. So it's 3,700 feet. So the density altitude at 40 degrees at 4,000 uh, pressure altitude is 3,700 feet. Very simple. You're given this, you're given this, you just track across to here, and that's your answer. Let's make up another one. Let's say our temperature outside air temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit and it's at a, a, um, a pressure altitude of 8,000. So you look at the line for the 60, which is right about here, and you track up till it crosses the pressure altitude line of 8,000, which is right about there. 
So I take my magnifier, and it's almost directly on the line. It's close enough, a little below it, but it's close enough. So they intersect at that point there. You just track over to the left, and that is what, 10 feet? No, it's 10,000 feet density altitude, and that's your answer. So you'll always be given the temperature. You'll either find or just be outright given the pressure altitude. You plug those numbers in here, you look to the left, and then you find out what your density altitude, and you answer the question. Okay, let's move on to a question from the test book.